Let's get some messages, everybody. Hi, I hope that you are awesome. Uh, this is Be Divine. Thanks for following along. And uh, we're going to get some messages first from our animal, what are they called? Uh, Spirit of the Animals Oracle. So this kind of leads the way for the reading. So let's see. Okay, we have the cat, Independence. You are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. The energy of the cat. The cat also, as it says here, is speaking about healing. The reason it's speaking about healing is because of the energy, well, ancient energy with cats in history. However, if you think about cats, they will just relax at any time. All right, they'll start cleaning and, you know, their legs up in the air like this and <laughs> they're just relaxing at any time, right? And we need to pull ourselves back in. So as we're focusing on our journey and we're reweaving the energy of who we are as a soul, we have to take those moments where we're stepping back and adjusting our vibration and frequency. If you have a lot of cats that hang around you or you, you feel drawn to them, uh, this is also another indication for you to start focusing on your own healing journey, okay? Because the healing of everybody else has to begin with you. And we all have these beautiful abilities if you want help in awakening your own, your own ancient self, and look at the intricate patterns and tapestry of who you are as a soul this is where i step in for you okay and help you and off you go right so the cat is with us it also connects us with uh, dreams and intuition of course cats are extremely intuitive so if they leave one superstition is if they suddenly depart from your home okay you need to be careful over the coming days sometimes they will leave when there's going to be something that happens so just be careful all right and then we have the miracle of the hummingbirds uh, you are the joy bringer you bless the world with positivity and love energy soars on your shining wings spread the miracle of happiness all birds in nature, of course, all birds that come up are messengers as well. So pay attention to the messages that you're intuitively, because of your cat energy here, receiving. Some people say, I don't like cats. That's okay. We're tuning into the energy of the energy of relaxation, the energy of healing, the energy of joy, the energy of calm, right? If you're Sometimes when I'm working with people, they are just like, oh, go, go, go. they've got to tell me everything at once. Like they're so scattered. They're so all over the place. And also focusing in on, you know, what this one's thinking or that one or this one's house or that house. or this is going on and that's going on. It's like you have to really begin to bring yourself into a central energy for you. Because once you understand all the aspects of who you are as a soul then it's very easy to share this with other people as well so we have some beautiful energy coming in with joy we deserve it we've been through a lot all of you have been through a lot on your journey and we're bringing in the energy of miracles and peace and relaxation into our life and that is an absolute choice. So you could choose to fluff things off and to be cross every single day, have something to complain about or mock people like me who are trying to help you, okay? Or you can learn from this, okay? And you can learn to balance your life and not have to deal with physical problems, with mental health issues, emotional issues you can be strong in who you are as a soul and share that knowledge through the way that you are so you're inspiring just by living okay 
I've been online since 2009 and I've gone through amazing changes with this world. Now we're in this place where it's extremely important for people who are like-minded to start to use their gifts, okay, and awaken this energy to raise the frequency. Some say that we've shifted timelines. That happened back in April. If you're still here watching these videos, you're on this same trajectory. Back in April when we had the eclipse, that was when there was a split off of energy. That was when there was a timeline jump. So things that we're seeing now prove that we're in a different reality because of our focus and our frequency changing. And that reality is much more positive than what would have been occurring. That's why it was so crucial for all of you to begin working on yourself, okay? Now, all right, let's get some tarot as well. Why not? Okay, here we go. All right. <clears throat> Comes the rewards. So I was doing some earlier readings today and we were getting a lot of focus on abundance coming in because of our past situations. The nine of coins is an energy of pride as well. Being proud of the work that you've done. It's not a boastful energy, although if you do look in some tarot books, it might talk about that depending on the story they're depicting with the cards. But the energy of the nine shows you a beautiful hawk is here covered up um, she has the coin directly against her heart so it's something to me this is something that she has been really pushing out to the universe something that means a lot to her or you this energy right something that other people who don't have the same foresight or the same direction as you are going to be blind to they're not going to see the benefits of what you're doing now it's extremely important okay because there are many people who are on these platforms that are giving you messages every day they haven't really done any internal work they're just doing it because it's a trend and therefore they don't understand all of the principles of spiritual etiquette. One of the things is that you don't predict too much into someone's future because that can limit that person. It can limit their choices. And that's not our contract to do that. So we can guide lovingly, okay, and say, hey, if you focus positively, if you really want positive things to happen, this is how you can go about it, right? Seeing the positive side to everything is the connection with your higher self. Your higher self is always that part of you that is the positive voice. So if you didn't know what it was, that's what it is. Okay, the negative voice, okay, could be coming from things that you have not healed, from situations that you have been dealing with since a child from the behaviors of other people, for example, in your life, how they've treated you and what you have believed to be true about yourself. So the higher self will speak with you about positive things and hey, let's go for this and keep going and you've got this and all that sort of stuff, right? Whereas the negative self will say, yeah, well, I've tried that and this happens and this happens and this happens. If you haven't had a proper clearing of all the things that you've been through in your life this may be a message for you to do so as well if you don't know how this is what i'm here for right you can work with me personally if you want to or you can learn how to heal yourself but here we have the emotional connection with something and something tangible coming into your life that you can see that you have manifested and it may appear to be like a miracle to you as well. Never doubt who you are, okay? You are so much more beautiful and powerful than you give yourself credit for, okay? 
And I'm sending you all lots of love and light.